Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now, today, by popular request, I want to discuss the best ways to exchange Steam balance for real life cash. So I'm going to be showing a few methods that I found to be useful if you really want to cash out your Steam. Now, first off, one of the best methods and the one used by most larger investors, that's the Steam Deck. Now, Steam Decks are handheld PC devices which you can buy with Steam funds directly on Steam. Just look at the store. Now, there's three types of Steam Deck, each coming with a different type and amount of storage and some goodies. Now, I will put the different versions and their current price on Steam right now. So right now, it's kind of a weird time to buy, but also a good time to buy. So let me explain. Because of the Steam Summer Sale, they have a discount for the second time ever. So you can get Steam Decks for cheaper on Steam than what our people are reselling them for on the secondary marketplaces like eBay. Now, as an example here, the prices of Steam Decks in sale compared to what they were selling beforehand on Steam and what they were selling and currently are selling for on eBay. Now that doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Since in theory, you can just sell them for more than what you paid to Valve. So I would expect prices on secondary marketplaces to fall quite rapidly during the summer sale as more people found out about the discount. That being said, if we just consider normal prices, I think you would get around 92% of your Steam funds back in cash. So assuming no costs for shipping, secondary sales, whatever. So expect secondary market prices, I guess, to settle probably somewhere around 95% of, of sale price soon. Um, but if you buy right now, you might get like a little bit, a little bit more than you would you pay for. Now, obviously, this can be a quite tedious process with the reselling on the secondary market. You have to find a buyer, otherwise you're stuck with it. And God forbid, you might have an Eve and see the sunlight to post the packages, you know. Or maybe you just don't have that many funds. Well, there are other ways to, to cash out smaller amounts of money as well, so let me show you. But first, this video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey allows you to easily and instantly trade your skins. And if you use my code Rookie, you can get up to $5 extra on your very first trade. Basically, free money. Or if you're depositing, use my code Rookie to get up to an extra 35% of balance. Go check them out, link will be in the top of the description. All right, so there's also a way to cash out involving CSGO skins. Now, what you're going to want to do is this. You're going to download the buff utility extension for your preferred browser. Now, what this helps you to do is look for items that have the lowest amount of difference between Steam value and buff value. So you want the percentage to be as low as possible. As weird as that sounds. Meaning Steam is as cheap as possible as compared to buff. Now, the best range you're going to find for this most of the times for smaller items such as cases, or niche skins is around 20 to 25%, meaning that you will get around an 80% return on your Steam funds in a perfect world. However, this relies on you buying many smaller items, which can be sort of a hassle. So if you go for slightly more expensive such items such as knives, you will find that the very best percentages will probably not go lower than around 27%. For an example, I have here the Survival Knife Vanilla with a percentage of some 28.3%. But one thing I cannot make clear enough here, check the sales on Steam and on Buff. Make sure that the numbers you see here are real and not inflated by one big sale. Make sure that the item is actually being sold. So don't just scroll through and be like, oh, that's a good one. No, just actually go look at it, all right? So I can see, for example, that the vanilla knife sold this morning for around 25 euros less than the cheapest listed right now. So I'm going to wait for a bit of a better deal on this one. But it could be a good target for me. Now, you can either sell your items on Buff and amass funds there, or buy a big single item to resell on another website, something like Skimport, CSGO Float, or Skins Monkey, or whatever. Now, which is what I would do if, you, if I went for the smaller items, right? So if you play your cards right and find an item that sells for more on your chosen cash out website, you can also crank up your return percents, percentage a bit, you know? So for a final example then, I will show you that if you bought this survival knife this morning for around 330 euros it sells for 300 euros on skimport as well meaning that would net you about 264 euros after their taxes or about 80 percent of the actual estimated 72 percent with above utility extension so that concludes my methods of actually cashing out consistently but there's also one more thing i want you to consider if you're ha if you're one of the lucky few who actually have friends you know you could also offer to buy them some games they were going to buy anyway and give them a 5 or 10% discount depending on how much you like them. It's easier, quicker, 
but only do this if you trust them and maybe know them in real life so you don't get scammed. Finally, personally I don't really cash out my balance, I just use it to set up buy orders and invest and flip skins. But if you do need the money, hopefully the mentioned methods can help you out. That's all I have for you guys today, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next.